Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. So before I get into the reading, I am going to let you guys know that I did a second collaboration with Rose Forever and I am here to present to you the Thanksgiving sale that they wanted me to jump on the on board with to let you guys know. So if you guys are not familiar with Rose Forever, they've been around since 2019 and they prepare Rose boxes for you guys to use as gifts as aesthetic decor or um, just for a significant other to have okay so this time around i decided to go with the aesthetic acrylic box with the black roses and this box is very special because it came with a drawer where you can put you know different little things i think that i'm going to use this for my coffee table and i will be putting like my keys or you know whatever it is that i want to put in there but for right now that's what i'm going with i think that this is absolutely stunning and if you guys were wondering if they have other you know types of colors and you know different box arrangements they do this was the first one that i received and this was absolutely beautiful my color scheme in my house is pretty much black white and gold or like a nude tan color so that's why i opted for white flowers the first time around but these flowers are something that you really don't have to really do anything to they they pretty much are very real like i said they last up to a year and with great love and tender care of them they could last even longer so i will be giving you guys a discount code which will be in the description box below it will be hsa25 for 25 percent off so go ahead and shop with rose forever for your thanksgiving gift especially for those of you guys that want to show a little appreciation to the ladies then you're able to do that with a box of roses so go ahead and shop rose forever with my coupon code hsa25 for 25 percent off and yeah let's get into the video bye guys hey virgos welcome or welcome back to the channel if you're new here i am an intuitive reader so i do like to connect with you guys for you guys subscribing liking and sharing for me to give you the most accurate reading so what i'm picking up on is that whatever it is that you do for work or how you make your money you're going to be paid twice as much okay you're going to be paid above the pay grade okay so virgos get ready for your bank accounts to be filled and manifest abundance and prosperity and just be thankful and grateful where you're at wherever it is however low of a point you've been always be grateful for the strides that you make okay someone's name could start with an s i'm picking up on a serenity serena soraya so let's let's jump into the energy real quick let's jump into the energy real quick here what's going on for virgo sun moon venus rising north node what is it that we need to know currently okay so a lot of you may not feel fulfilled or not happy about something yeah there's something that really turns you off in the energy here but you're gonna get to know what um is going on or you're creating a avenue to get some some wisdom knowledge understanding so that you can be courageous to embracing something here all right what else we have flexibility so some of you need to um exercise or <clears throat> this could be something that you're doing right now i do feel like you have a lot of strength it's like with this tiger here i'm feeling an energy of like you just waiting you're just waiting for something to, to take place to happen because you find displeasure in something here whatever this may be 
you're waiting for you know the ball to drop you could be waiting for results or your money finances yeah look we have success yeah it's like you're waiting for the ball to drop for someone to give you like confirmation or the go ahead to go for something okay we have this black panther right now we have healing chaos in reverse so something is turning up for you maybe this is something that you were stressing about whatever this may be in your finances or obtaining something maybe this there's um an application that you filled up okay so we have security as well so what i'm seeing here is that someone's trying to hold on to hope okay i do see that you need to build walls to feel secure in your community someone needs to keep their doors locked here all right someone may need to get an alarm system because there could be some upcoming burglaries it is christmas time or coming around to christmas time here take that as it resonates reverse the rules you could have someone showing up at your door uh looking to install something for you uh don't go that route hire someone look for someone that um knows the ins and outs to um, having the best high level of security that you can get yeah we have embracing there's something that you're embracing you're embracing the fire that's within you that you're highly protected okay no form of protection is going to be 100%. So you need to know that you have inner protection and to embrace this here. Okay. Let's see what else is going on. Actually, before I get into these cards, I'm going to read what the security is. Because Spirit is telling me to check in on that. Okay. So we're looking into security. So it's a firelit cave, number 78. Oh, these are Roman numerals. Okay, so security, firelit cave. In ancient times, our forebears took refuge in caves. It was there that they could seek shelter from the weather and be protected from predators and enemies. The cave offered a safe place to prepare food, sleep, heal, and build community. Caves were also the places where sacred spiritual ceremonies occurred, evidenced by cave drawings and altars that have been built along the ledges. Symbolically, caves often represented a secret pathway to the underworld, the divine womb of the Mother Earth and the Sacred Heart. Also, caves can be energy portals for shamans or other spiritual explorers. So the sacred landscape wants you to know that you are safe and protected. No matter what is occurring in your life, you are in safe hands. Those in the realm of spirit are watching over you. That's exactly what I said. You can relax and let go. Once you've taken measures to protect yourself and those you love, such as making sure everyone has their seatbelt on in the car, making sure their, your insurance is paid on time, or replacing the filter on your heating unit, then let go. If you have been hyper vigilant lately, take a break, relax, know that all is well, and you can turn it all over to the creator. So you're definitely um, protected here. Anything that has to do with your finances, your money, whatever is happening here you're definitely protected okay so i love these new cards if you love them let me know in the comment section below i've been loving oracles lately because um they allow me to have an illustration of what you guys are going through here all right so we have release you need to release anything that, that is unhappy or making you feel unhappy, uneasy, unwanted. Um, someone needs to lift their spirits here.
Someone's name is Lornell Lavelle. Yeah, we have love showing up as well. I said Lavelle and love shows up. That is so ironic. So there is something about the way that you, um, the way that you are with, with others or how you show that you care. It's like you have a loving energy. What else is here? For Virgo. Okay, so we have control. So I think that when it comes to success, you're going to be successful regardless is what I'm getting. There's there's a need for you to want to have control over your finances, but you don't really have to. All you need to do is let go, okay? And I think that's the hardest thing for you to do because you are someone that embodies controlling everything around you, okay? So we have new vitality. So it looks like you are warming up to other people and they're starting to feel your energy, okay? When it comes to your security, there is a well-deserved reward coming in for you, okay? You let your darkest fears take over in which you are now speaking on it. And for some of you here on the outside looking in, other people see that you're starting to detach from things that made you fearful and now focusing on what you're manifesting here. So you guys are doing well, you know, besides all these fears that you may have that can hinder your inner success, achievements, but you have a reward coming in that's going to keep you secure, all right? What else is here? So it looks like um, something is delayed. Like I said, you could be awaiting some results but you're going to embrace something, okay? Because it's something that you can't control or um, cannot be taught here, whatever this may be. I think that you're backing away from an opportunity because it almost seems too good to be true. And you're just having, you're gonna have to go with your gut on whatever this may be. Let's see what else is here. Virgo, what is it that Virgo needs to know currently? For Virgo, for Virgo. So we have uh, Venus. Venus is showing up for you, Virgo. I think that you need to just let go, live life, you know, go through things only to learn them, cherish people around you enjoy being around people that want to be around you because you have this um beauty about you that charms other people and it's like you could be known as like a form of art a human form of art okay we have the fifth house and it says with the trust of a child fun romance making art do it dramatically so there's something about the way that you express yourself this is another form of art here, okay? I do see that you could be dating here. Some of you are needing to act like a leader, be a leader. Okay, let's see what else we have here for the Virgos. Okay, so look at this. You have the hat showing up. You will be playing a different role in whatever it is that you do, okay? As soon as you release this. Something about May and an older man could be significant. This older man could be giving you um, knowledge, understanding. Someone could help you reflect. Whoever this is, they have a love or deep affection and caring energy for you. Yeah, whoever this older man is, this person could be a Taurus, could be a member of the Earth Sign family. Who knows? We have dog close up. So pleasure with a close friend is here. Yeah. Yeah. 
So we have boat. Wow. We have the boat and hammock. So boat here says money or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall. So with you making uh, new friends, um, creating new avenues for success, possibilities, probabilities for yourself, you're going to be in a situation where whatever this is that you're doing, it's going to keep you successful and um, you could possibly get an opportunity to move or to come into a lot of abundance here, all right? So we have taking a vacation physically or mentally and then we have moon and nest, okay? So there are changes that are going on in your life that include your family. And I think that you're including your family because family is the root to you. And I think that you cherish your family. I do see that you're trying to work very hard for your family so that you can be able to provide, okay? So an opportunity is going to present itself where you will be getting great good fortune. I can't make this up, all right? So let's see what else is going on for you in your current energy. What else is there that the Virgos need to know? Sun, moon, Venus rising, north node. What's here for Virgo, Holy Spirit, or Virgo? For Virgo. So we have a third party. There's a third party that feels like they have a soul contract with you or the person that you were with. There's a lot of Mercury retrograde energy uh, in regards to this third party. I feel like someone has awakened to someone that they no longer want to be in a committed relationship with, okay? What else is here? For Virgo, so yeah, you could be dealing with a runner or you are the runner. Some of you are running away from something that could be consuming too much. Yeah, Divine Feminine, all right? I'm getting the name Doris, D-O-R-I-S. Okay, I'm not gonna take those, we got more than one. What else do we have for the, I'm getting water energy. Someone could be a water sign or just be overly emotional, like in the cups energy. There's a lot of, mixed emotions here from you or the person that's in your element yep someone could be a fire sign here aries leo sagittarius whoever this person is they love you okay but they feel like you left them <coughs> sorry this person feels like you hung them out to dry and that you wanted things to be one-sided your way or the highway, okay? This person is feeling emotionally distanced from you or there could be some type of physical distance here. Take it as it resonates, reverse the roles. Give me more messages. There's something about committing or committed Someone feels like they would die for you. What is this energy? This is very intense energy. So look at this. This person would die to be with you or to have one minute with you. Look, this came out after I said that. Intimacy, lust, passion, love, attraction. Someone wants more time with you. Wow, that's crazy. That is so crazy. Give me one more for Virgo. Some of you are attracting someone by 
how you're looking, what you're wearing. It's like you have this seductive look to you. Show me more. Yeah, someone loves you here and sees your, your, your worth at this time. They're hiding the fact that they're watching you and that they have a crush on you, but you are their wish fulfillment. And they see the gifts that you have, all right? Whether they're watching you on social media or they're picking up on that energy through tele telepathy, they, they see that you are a blessing, okay? I can't make this up. These were all on the, the bottom here, the bottom of the deck. Any other messages, Holy Spirit? Any extra messages? Any wild cards for Virgo to know? Okay, so yeah, so for some of you here, this person could also be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I already said this earlier, and then it comes out. Thank you, Spirit. Someone is breaking up with their earth sign. Someone could need time apart from this person or someone could have um, ended up yeah someone needed to be alone or spending time apart from this person or well, this person and you haven't had a time to meet up talk communicate because of things being complicated between you two but someone has lied here okay someone may have lied about something Let's see what else is going on. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo energy. What's going on for my lovely Virgos? What is it that Virgo needs to know currently? Sun, moon, Venus rising, North node. So we have here imagination so someone could be imagining what their life would be like if people stuck to their their guns or their word how much different life would be things would have persevered differently yeah I think that it makes you upset to see that um, you couldn't help this person, whoever this was, you really love this person. You could see yourself, you know, being a family, having children for this person, but the timing was just off here. What else for my lovely friends? this person can't stop you this person can't stop anything from happening all they can do is think and wonder about what's right before them okay something's gonna be made clear as day or someone's going to have to watch you like someone's eyes are gonna be pride proud right open someone's gonna be holding this person's eyes open to whatever is in store for you they have to sit back and watch you in all your glory and in all your content energy yeah someone ruined a good thing and now someone's just left surviving for the injustice that they've caused okay and i don't think that this person can stop anything or try to uh bribe you for them to for you to forgive them I'm hearing something about remedy. I don't know, is, is, is someone sick here? Or I don't know what's going on. I'm hearing the word remedy. Let's see. Someone may live in a polluted area Someone like is just surrounded by trash or someone could be known as 
you know, trash here. Some of this energy just sucks. We have luck. So you're going to be... I feel like, Virgos, you're going to be in a situation where you have the best luck. Like, you're going to be getting a... You're going to be able to cash out. Let's just say it like that here. You're going to be able to do this solo, or this is what you want to do solo. <coughs> There's some type of solo project that you've done on your own, and you're going to see all the... Um, all good things coming towards you, okay? Someone could be coming down with a cold here. Someone wants you to forgive them. They want you to apologize for everything that they've done because all of the bad juju or whatever they were trying to do to you to sacrifice you, to have something happen for them, for them to be happy, they're getting the total opposite. They're living a whole nightmare and someone's wishing that they have never meddled in magic to begin with or manipulated at all. Someone's really sorry. Okay. It was destined for you to um, go through something alone to see who people really are. And I think that you're getting justice for your family. Show me more. For Virgo. Yeah, this is for your family. Like whatever it is that you're getting all this luck from, this is for your family here, okay? And someone may try to take this or exploit you to get this. Yeah, so they're trying to you know, come up with some type of conflict so that you'll give up what you got for your family. I think that you're possibly going to even, if this happens, you're going to, you're going to give, end up giving this person something. And this pisses this person even off even more knowing that you're, you're a good person. This person is a fucking vampire, energy vampire. Because they think that taking from you is going to put them in a happier place in their life. You can have the most money, the fanciest car, and people are still not happy. Money doesn't buy happiness and can't buy happiness. It's about how you live your life. Yeah. I think that whatever spiritual situation that you've been through... You're going to be talking about it. You're going to let people know and bring awareness to this. Because at the end of the day, they lost. Some people are even losing homes, deals, opportunities because of them, you know, manipulating the energy spiritually. Okay? People are going to be trying to, you know, strategize to, you know be a friend but you're gonna have to withdraw your energy from these type of people because you know they're not for you they don't want anything um good to come your way so keep going keep thriving let's see here what do we have for virgo so you you've completely turned yourself off from this person it's like you're holding back you're numb to the bullshit Okay, you're emotional, but you're not going to allow anybody to mind fuck you. Okay, there's a tower coming. So you're coming into knowing something, which is what the cards were talking about. Yep, there's an incoming message coming through about a chaotic time between two people or um, for someone. This could have to do with money. It ain't your problem. It's not your fault. Just know that, Virgos. Yep. Someone's going to want you to console them. Okay? They're going to try to use any manipulation to get you back so that there is some form of stability in their life. Because their life is fucked up and imbalanced here. Yeah, you're going to have to end up letting this person go. 
because when you are in your time of need, where the fuck were they at? Okay, why should you need to console them? You're not their mother or father or guardian, period. Yeah, we have two of pentacles. This person made it hard for you. Yeah, it was hard for you to get over this person. But you had to avoid them at all costs. I do see that someone here wants to be a teacher or has a kindergarten class. Or there's something about kids. You've always wanted to be um, inspirational to the youth. And I think this is what your calling is for some of you or the younger generation. Take it as it resonates, reverse the roles. Someone could also be a, like a, a child care teacher, a daycare teacher. Someone could even want to work with the disabled. Like someone here is like wanting to shoot for this to make a difference in the community. We have the Nine of Cups in reverse. So there's something that you're overindulging about. It's like you're overthinking, you know, what it is that you're doing. Are you in the right profession, doing the right thing at whatever point you are in your life? Spirit is just telling you to just live your life. Because as you live your life, you'll see things come into your life. And there will be jealous people that will do things to set you off or to get you sidetracked. But there is vengeance. Don't take vengeance. There will be vengeance from the ascended masters that you have here. Your, your spirit guides. Someone is a socialite. I don't know if that means anything to anyone. If you're not a socialite, someone likes to be in the limelight of things. Someone's going to be like an assistant to someone. Okay. Yeah, that's a change that's coming up here. Let's see, Virgos. Oh, there's a main male popping up in reverse. So there's someone that you slowly stop talking to or you no longer speak to lovers in reverse yeah whoever this is is going to show up to your house after being going to court yep you're the privileged lady okay some of you could be in mental conflict about something someone is going to jail for theft this could be a part of the justice that you're getting someone took something from you yeah they thought that you would be in poverty with your children but you remain in great fortune people idolize you and admire you for the work that you put in in whatever it is that you're doing here Beautiful read so far, Virgos. What else for my Virgos? What else is there that we need to know currently? So I don't think that you're concerned about whatever is changing around you. I feel like you're embracing that change, you know, enjoying your family. But it's like someone comes in to try to interrupt something. Something could be dug up from the dead. Information, a body, um... It's like someone bringing up old shit or shit, shit from the past. Or this could be someone from your past. Okay, so yeah. It's someone from your past that's a false person. Or you're getting some message from someone that has passed on to watch out for this false person. Okay? There's a message of concern from... Uh, someone that passed over to watch out for people in your community or something that you're not expecting to happen in your community is so be very careful here 
let's see here. What other messages are here for Virgo at this time? So we have rekindle. So an old flame is returning. Okay. And I think that this person is not in a good place, a positive place. So they're feeling really low. And I think it's because of the influence of this third party. Someone just thinks that they can just come in and act like, you know, there wasn't a hiccup or you guys stopped talking, like nothing happened. They just want to live in the moment here. A gift from someone special. They're coming with some type of gift. This love isn't going to last. But you may feel like this is your true love here. Because you have a different connection with them than you've ever had before. We have natural evolution. So let the situation unfold naturally. Don't let this person come in to try to fuck with your brain. Mind fuck you into thinking that they want marriage and that they're your life partner. Use your intuition. What else is here for my lovely Virgos? Someone's name could be Amy. Anastasia. We have dreams come true. Have faith your rainbow will come smiling through. So just remember that you don't have to be with someone just because you have a connect a connection with them or you've had a previous relationship with them. That doesn't mean anything at the end of the day. You could have known somebody for 20 years and they'll still fuck you over. And that's actual factual shit, okay? Years don't mean shit. It's the loyalty and respect and love that they have for you that lets you know that someone is being authentic and real. So there's some type of ro workplace romance that's going on, but I don't think that it's anything serious. It's just for play. Someone's going to be um, needing to escape that because it, it's just like something spontaneous that happens here. All right. Let's get some majestic messages and then we're going to close out. Majestic messages for Virgo, please. All right, so we have co-worker. For some of you here, this person could be a co-worker. Someone could have been strung out on drugs, alcohol, pills, a mutual acquaintance that you know is jealous of you. That's what I just seen. Someone's name is Mercedes Novella. Beat them at their own game because you have the ambition and drive that can motivate anybody. All right. What else do we have for Virgo? So these two cards came out. Someone's going to be seen leaving your residence. Someone tried to surprise you. Someone thought that you that you moved. What else here? So you are divinely protected. This came out and so did this. So a family function or celebration will take place. Someone sees you as an enabler. Or you've been in a situation where you enabled someone. Some of you feel responsible for letting something go on for longer than it needed to have gone on for. Okay, so someone is definitely missing you. It's been too long and I'm lost without you. This is someone you don't have children with though. All right? Yeah, someone feels like if they come back, you're gonna pass judgment on them. Someone's trying to get out of this dark energy. Yeah, someone's doing spells on this person that's in your energy. And they want to get out of that energy because they're feeling it. So that if they come to you, this won't pass off to you. But you already have that energy where if something's wrong, 
you're going to sage your house or you're going to do whatever it is that you need to do in order to stay protected. All right. So that's what I have here for your current messages. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to go ahead and purchase your Rose Forever. And, you know, surprise your person or even yourself with a lovely gift like Rose Forever. Um, I will be leaving a link for 25% off. The discount code is HSA25. Again, HSA25 to get 25% off of your purchase so go ahead and support rose forever they are real legit and thank you again rose forever for the opportunity i really do appreciate it and happy holidays to each and every one of you